हरि ओम गुरुभ्यो नमः गुरु पादुकाभ्यो नमः विथ ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ गुरुजी श्री नरसिंह प्रभु जी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक और से व्हाट आई फील अबाउट द श्लोका नंबर 8 फ्रॉम ईशा वास्य उपनिषद Shloka is as follows: Sapariyaga achukram akayam avrnam asnaviram shuddham apapavidham kavir manishi paribhuh sasyam puryata tadyartham than vyadadas chastvatibhya samapyaha. In this particular shloka, shloka, the real nature of Parabrahman is explained. Sapanyaga achukram. Parabrahman pervaded everywhere, taintless, resplendent. Here we have resplendent means without any small uh, mark. Also, he was so brilliant. Like we have an example in Bhagavad Gita where um, Sri Krishna Paramatma shows his Vishwarupa to Arjuna, so brilliant and so beautiful, glowing. Arjuna says that he is unable to see this form for a long time, so he prays that Brahma should withdraw that form. So shining, resplendent, shining and beautiful. He was a kayam. There was no limitation of a body. He was everywhere. like when we look at ourselves we are so limited we have to do according to what our body says we have limited space to work on whereas para brahma was without any body so he was free he was free from this bodily limitation asnaviram shuddham he did not have any attachment and he did not have any avarna he was not bound by anything like if we uh, think about building a house we have a compound wall around that house there is an avarna which says okay this is your limitation this house has a limitation ara brahma did not does not have all these limitations he is free to go anywhere and free to move we all know he doesn't move he is existing there but to explain the rishis the poet person has explained it in such a beautiful way for us to understand this then he did not have any um sin attached to him because there was no attachment asnaviram he was this um uh, this asvirams are small muscle kind of attachments which um uh, attach the muscles to the bones that we have so he did not have all these restrictions parabrahma was everywhere shining and with this he could reach anywhere any place all over beyond the boundaries as there are no attachments there is no sin there is no binding for him as there are no karmas attached he was swayambhu he was existing by himself like it's 
Parabrahma was so content and he existed there itself only when he um, decided, okay, I need to appear as something or he put about himself like the mud, uh, when the potter takes the mud and shapes into a pot, it takes the shape of a pot. Otherwise, the mud remains as mud. When the pot is broken again, it becomes the mud. So, Parabrahma, while existing as a whole, he formed a certain things which energies that have come out of him and took shape and he created the endless entities of Maya. Remaining a whole with this beautiful self, shining, omniscient, everywhere, transient, untouched by sin. And he himself allotted the various functions Isha, then the Dikpalakas, with all the functions, they came into existence when the Maya Prakruti created itself. So, this is the essence of Shloka number 8 from Isha Vasupanishad. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Hari Om.